Welcome back to the park. We are picking up where we left off last where did time. Let's go. Come on this way. Callum, stay where you are. Come on, mommy. Wait, Callum. So it wasn't sprint. Callum? This way, mommy. This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. It'd make me dizzy. The guy just snapped. Those poor kids. Jeez. Eyewitness report incident. We're waiting for our turn on the ride. Frank, me and the boys, this fellow in the chipmunk suit is making a nice carving while people took photographs. Lawrence wanted to go over to him, but I've always been a bit weary of those suits. They give me the creeps. It's silly, I know. Anyway, the chipmunk man, he was carving and picking away at the ice. And at first we thought he was making an animal, like a tiger or a lion, but as more and more ice fell, first looked, it was like a human face smiling out of the block of ice, but the more you looked at it, the more you saw that there was something not quite right about the proportions, something unnatural that made your heart begin to beat just a little bit faster, like you were prey, and that thing is a, the ice was a hunter. But then these teenagers walked up and one of them made a face in the, at the carving and said something rude to the guy in the chipmunk suit and then... Well, he went berserk. A few moments, it was chaos. Everyone was running away from the guy who had one of the teenagers on the ground and was stabbed. And he was stabbed, stabbed, stabbing with the ice pick and blood was spraying and people were screaming and Frank and I had the kids and were dragging them away as fast as we could. And the last thing I saw before Frank dragged me away was the eyeballs of one of those poor kids had landed on the ice sculpture, making the horrible creature look more and less, more or less alive. Okay. Where are you? Over here. I'm not playing anymore, Callum. Come on, this way. Where are you? Catch me, mommy. Go on this ride. Callum! This way! Come to mommy, Callum! Over here! Here we ride it! Oh, here we go. I can't get on while it's moving. gonna ride this thing. How are we going to increase the speed? I can't get on while it's moving. No, no, no! Go. Oh my god. What are we getting ourselves into here? Oh my god, this thing is getting too fast! <laughs> God! What the hell? Jeez Louise, dude! Oh. I'm not riding this damn thing again. Oh my gosh. 
dude in there now? Wait for mommy! Come on, this way! Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. And they shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. I thought working in the park for a summer would be a lot of fun, but in the end of the season here, it really drags. There aren't that many tourists around, so most of the staff spend their days standing around gossiping. And most of that gossip is about Chad. I mean Steve. Even I am starting to call him Chad, and I went to school with the guy. It's that goddamn suit. In the beginning, it was a laugh. Steve and local lush, as Chad the chipmunk, child friendly mascot at Atlantic Island Park lock up your daughters and all of that but the more he wears that suit the weirder Steve is getting at first it was little things like refusing to change out of the suit at work and taking it home with him every day but then I saw him at Susie's diner still wearing it and it wasn't even a work day some of the staff complained discreetly to park management about the smell and I saw him walking and talking with Mr. Winter, the owner, one day. But nothing seemed to have changed. The suit still smells like a carcass whenever Steve walks by. And apparently Steve has picked up some new skills since the last time I saw him putting... Uh... What is that? Bucking up in the, a gutter outside of Silk Coil Station. Because he sure as hell can carve a mean ice sculpture. Those shapes he makes in the ice, though, they give me the creeps. Steve came by the booth today, lucky me, and he just hung around for a while. I couldn't really tell because of that suit, but it seemed like he was just starting staring at me, sizing me up, eye-fucking me for whatever he was doing. I asked him what he wanted, and he just stood there, not saying anything. Eventually, I called my superior, and when he came by, Chad, Steve wandered off. My supervisor told me to put everything in writing, so here it is. Also, I quit. I don't want to see that chipmunk suit ever again. Or our henman. What the? What is going on here? Something bad's happening. Hello? Oh my gosh, I'm afraid to look. Was he in there? Alright, we are going to end the episode there. <laughs> Before we die. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And we will see you next time.